Hey everyone, wanted to make a quick video about my Tesla Android radio and my 2015 Toyota Tundra. And this video was going to be about how I listen to music whenever I'm just in the truck um, and how I use a streaming music service, Google Play Music, and uh, I'm able to use that offline by downloading the songs to uh, the device, actually to an external hard drive. And so I'll walk you through that. So first off, I don't really utilize the radio uh, and I don't have like a library of MP3s. I normally just listen to Google Play Music on all of my devices, uh, including my Sonos at home, my iPhone, uh, in my truck, and I've got all these playlists. And what's nice about Google Play Music is that you can take these playlists and sync them across all of your devices and even download all those songs or select songs or, or playlists from select songs or uh, songs from select playlists and put those on, on your devices. So it's really great. I've found that it works really well with the Android radio. So I'll take you through that right now. So first off, you'll notice on the screen here, this uh, if this home screen doesn't look familiar, it's because I'm using a different launcher uh, that uh, does not come with the radio. Uh, I'm actually using the Google launcher. Uh, I think it's Google Now or Google Launcher. Uh, search it in the App Store. If you download it and then uh, open it for the first time, it'll say, do you want to use this launcher all the time? And that way uh, you'll be able to kind of have a uh, configurable home screen where you can see things where I've got some widgets here. This is a weather widget that I added uh, and some shortcuts to all sorts of things. So uh, I'll probably make a, I've already got a video out on uh, one of the other car launcher pros, but I find you that I do like this launcher better. So, uh, so we'll walk through the Google Play Music here. So first off, you'll notice that uh, I've got this widget, um, which just has one of the last songs that was pulled up. What's great about the uh, the widget is that on the home screen in the Tundra, there is a uh, steering wheel controls. So over here, if I simply, once this is booted up and everything, and I'm just driving down the road and I want to listen to the music, uh, it'll be paused. But if I just hit this center button here, the select button, is that it will start playing the music um, on the head unit. So uh, it's nice that I don't have to really touch the head unit whenever it's all booted up and I'm ready to play music. I simply hit the select button on my steering wheel controls and it starts playing the music. So it works out really well. So let me take you through Google Play Music, the app. So again, if you add the widget here, really easy to add the widget in case you uh, do get the launcher installed. Uh, if you go to your widgets and then you'll scroll down after you install Google Play Music, uh, you can just uh, add that widget and then you can expand it out and make it resized. So it uh, works out really well for me and uh, has even the album art. So it all works out really well. And just a reminder, I am offline. So uh, you can see there that the Wi-Fi is not connected. Um, but um, everything you see here that I'm going to walk you through is in essence uh, where I don't have to connect my, uh, my head unit to a hotspot or my phone in order to get this music. It all downloads from offline. So let me open up the app. So right here, you'll notice here that there's a, a number of stations that I've been listening to. Uh, and you can see if I click on one of these stations, there is an option here where it's, uh, that means that it's downloaded. So that orange check mark, if it wasn't downloaded, it would give me an option to download it. Um, but if you hit that, <clears throat> I can tell it to remove uh, this download, um, but I'm gonna leave that downloaded. So it what it does is it saves all the songs in this station for Google Play. Uh, it saves them to the device so I can listen to these stations offline. So works out really well. Uh, so you've got playlists. Uh, again, you can have things where your playlists are all set up uh, where you can download your entire playlist. So if you have a playlist of um, dozens or hundreds of songs, you can download that. I've got a playlist here uh, that's got a few um, you know, 140 songs, they're all downloaded to the device, so that's nice. Um, you know, if you have other things, artists, albums, songs, you know, I'm actually offline, so it's not bringing in the entire Google Play Music collection, but uh, it is something where it's, uh, you're able to, um, to bring all that in if you have downloaded those, uh, those songs to your device. So uh, I'll take you to the menu here. And let's see, I'm gonna scroll down here to uh, the settings. Notice here that I've got downloaded only flipped on. Uh, what that does is that it's only looking at downloaded music. And so um, that's why that's on. I'm gonna go to settings here and scroll to the bottom under downloading. 
So here, some basic settings, you know, download on Wi-Fi only, that's kind of a given. Um, download quality, if you're, if you're concerned about memory space, uh, you can do uh, low, but really I'll show you what I've done for um, my external hard drive here, but I just leave it on normal. I guess I could change it to high, but I don't really worry about that. I turn on auto download, because normally when I pull in my garage, I've got Wi-Fi, so that's on. And, and then down here, uh, where it says my, uh, let me talk about the storage location first. So notice here that the storage location, it shows 931 gigs. So that's obviously much larger than this unit comes with the, um, the standard storage built into the head unit. I think is 64 gigs, but what I've done is I've installed an external hard drive and it's sitting in my glove box. I'll just kind of show that to you right here. So this one terabyte external hard drive is uh, what's hooked up to my USB connector there. Um, the second USB, the head unit comes with two USB connectors. Uh, the other one is connected to the stock USB there. So uh, that works out really well. And from there, I'm able to have a terabyte of storage and if you'll notice here, manage downloads, uh, I'm only using two gigs uh, of that 1,000 gigabyte drive, and I've got hundreds of songs loaded on here. So um, it's nice, and you can manage all your downloads here, but again, this allows you to do everything offline, so I'm able to listen to all my music, uh, and, um, and it works out really well. I am a Google Play Music subscriber. Uh, I think it's about $10 a month, but it's well worth it to me. Uh, I'm not sure if they offer it if, you, if you're not a subscriber, but um, once you do become a subscriber, you get things like uh, YouTube Red, which allows you to watch YouTube without commercials and all kinds of stuff. So um, look into it. It's really great. I love it. Um, you know, if you use Spotify or Pandora, I, I do know that those services do offer offline as well. For me, Google Play Music is, uh, is definitely the, the best service that I've found for, for my Android radio and really for all my devices, including my, my Sano system at home and um, really just, just anything I'm listening to. So, if you have any questions, let me know. But uh, hopefully you, this, uh, you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a like uh, and uh, maybe even subscribe. I'll have some more videos out on this Android radio. All right, thanks so much.